Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see uh, one more concept in R programming that is how can how many ways we can pass the arguments from function call to function definition. So in our previous session we have discussed about the function call and function definition. So in that we have seen we can also pass the inputs from function call to function definition. So in today's session we'll see how many ways we can pass the arguments from function call to function definition. So arguments in functions. So here the three categories. So one is function without arguments. function without arguments that means it is not mandatory to give the arguments from the function call so that is an optional so here uh, just for understanding we can say the arguments are nothing but inputs given to the function definition so from the function call there we are giving some sort of inputs to the function definition and that is not a mandatory that is an optional so we need not pass an input from function call we can take the inputs inside the function also. So the first category function without arguments. So for example, let us take the function name. I'll write here the function name. Uh, let us uh, go with the addition. So add is equal to write on the keyword function and I'm not writing any arguments, right? Zero arguments and open the curly braces and here I'll take the arguments, right? So I'll read some a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 and print a plus b. So here I'll write the function call add. So this is a function call, right? So this is the function definition and this is a function call and this definition will be get executed only once the, the control executes this function call. So without this function call, this code will not be get executed, right? So here we are not passing any arguments here. So obviously just a function call is executed immediately. The control moves with the function definition and here we are taking two inputs and we are performing some logic. Okay, we are writing the logic inside the function. So here the parameters we are taking inside the function itself. So there is no need to give the arguments. It's not a compulsory. Next category, next category is function with the arguments. So here we can pass the inputs from function call to function definition. So in outside the function definition, we can read two values and we can pass not only the two values, we can give a multiple arguments, right? So before writing the function call, I'll write here a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. And I will pass these arguments in the function call, right? So I'm passing these arguments in the function call and this will be reflected here. This will be reflected here. So see a plus b and here we need not write here. So here a and b were declared, I mean initialized outside the function definition and those things were passed to the function call which will be passed to the function definition and that will be get executed. And here you observe that it, there is no, not necessary to give the same name. Okay, it is not necessary to give the same name for the arguments which are written inside the function call and the function definition. So in this example, I am giving a and b are the variables in the function call and the same a and b in the function definition and it's not necessary. So here we can take it as x comma y and here we'll write it as x plus y. So what happens? So a and b we are passing. So the value of the first argument in function call will be copied to the first argument in the function definition. So that means it will follow the positional order. So it follows positional order, positional order. So in which order we are passing the arguments here, the same order it will be followed here. Okay, so A is the first argument. So value stored in A will be copied to X here because X is the first argument in the function definition, right? So similarly, B value will be copied to Y. So it is not necessary 
to take the same name in both function call and function definition. So this is the second category function with arguments. Next function with default arguments. What is this default arguments? That means we will give some default arguments inside the function definition. So if there are any inputs sent from function call that values will be copied to the arguments and if there if there is no value sending from function call this default values will be get executed for example let us take so here observe uh, here one thing is we need to use the same names okay so here i'll give a is equal to 100 and b is equal to 200 so what happens here here if i am using add so i am not passing the arguments here okay i am not passing any argument from the function call so these way these are the default values assigned for a and b these are the default values assigned for a and b those values will be occupied okay and if the values are sent that means a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 and add 10 comma 20 so here we are passing the arguments from the function call so 10 will be copied to a that means this 100 will be replaced with 10 and 20 will be replaced with i uh, sorry 200 will be replaced with the 20 because the first preference will be given to the inputs passed from the function call itself okay if there are no arguments here automatically default values will be taken okay so here one thing you have to remember so whatever the values we are passing the same variable names should be there okay so this is the third category of arguments so these are the three ways we can pass the arguments to the function one is a function without arguments function with arguments and function with the default values or default arguments right so hope you understood let's move on to the R studio so I'll demonstrate each and every category by executing a small program so let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen uh, the procedure of uh, passing the arguments to a user defined function so we have seen three categories function without arguments with arguments and uh, default arguments now we will see an example so let me open the r studio and uh, clear all the previous data and then we'll start with the first category that means function without arguments function without arguments right now so let us take the here uh, let us write a function definition so i'll go with the add so as we have discussed in our uh, theoretical session so function keyword and i'm not passing any arguments and uh, here we are supposed to write the uh, data so just read the values so a is equal to as dot integer of read line and uh, enter value of a and the same thing we'll see we'll read a one more variable that is a b so one more variable it's a b and now we'll write here print a plus b right and now we have to write down the function call so unless you write the function call this fun this complete data will not be get executed so i am writing the function call here so without any arguments so simply i just want to execute this one so with, it was prompting for a value i'll give 10 and uh, okay here we, we did not modify so here also we have given a okay 20 so we got a 30 right so we got 30 so once again i'll execute so a value it said 10 and 30 so we'll get a 40 so normal right so we are not passing any arguments so we are taking the inputs inside the function definition itself now we'll pass the arguments to the function definition so here in the function call i'm passing the arguments a comma b and here we need to you uh, take the values a and b right so it follows the positional order the value of first argument will be copied to the first argument in the function definition and the value of first argument in function call will be copied to the 
argument uh, second argument in the function definition so you can observe here again it was prompting for a 100 b 200 and we are getting some addition as 300 so hope you understood this one right so it is not necessary to send the arguments from function call to function definition and also we can pass the arguments from function call to function definition so here we can simply change the arguments in the function call i am taking it as a a and b and in the function definition i am taking it as a y x and y that means it's not necessary to give the same names so it follows the positional order and it copies the values i'll go with 100 and 200 and again we are getting the 300 so the value of a will be copied to x and value of b will be copied to y right hope you understood yes now coming to the default uh, default arguments so here consider uh, let us take a and b and i I'll, I'll give the default arguments a is equal to 100 and b is equal to 200 okay so if you pass the arguments from this particular function call automatically these default values will be replaced with the inputs sent by the function call so you can observe here so it was prompting for a i am giving some 10 and 20 oh, okay here we have given some x plus y which is not correct and here we are giving a plus b yes once again let us take 10 and 20 so we got a 30 because 100 is replaced with 10 and 200 is replaced with 20 and now let us check let us check here so here we are passing only an empty function call we are passing an empty function call we are not giving any values right so automatically the default values will be taken here so you can observe 300 will be keep taken right so here function call doesn't have any arguments but here function definition we are having the arguments and these arguments must be the default values so if you pass like this if you pass like this a comma b obviously it will get an error a is missing okay with no default so we can pass the default value okay if i go with 100 if i go with 100 and i give some 20 okay so 20 is a, again it will follow the positional order so 20 will be taken to a right see the result will be 120 so 20 will be passed to a and b value is not there so 100 will be taken and 20 plus 100 will be calculated here and you can observe a is equal to 100 and let us take some b okay what happens obviously it will give, get the error because it will follow the positional order it will follow the positional order so 20 is the first argument so 20 will be moved to variable a okay so here there is a no second argument so the second argument here also there is no default values for the second argument so obviously b value is missing b value is missing so always the default argument should be at the end of the arguments list right so let us take some 20 plus 30 now we can get the result as a 50 because 20 will be copied to a that means 100 is replaced with the 20 and 30 will be copied to b and the addition will be performed and we'll get the addition as 50 okay and let us take a different argument some x comma y x comma y and take uh, okay yes here we'll take some x and y and let us check what happens so here in the function call we are giving x comma y and in the function definition we are passing a comma b and we'll check so it was prompting for x i'll go with a 10 and y is 20 and we got 30 okay here also it is not necessary to have the same name for the arguments in the function call and function definition so here we are giving x value which is copied to a and we are giving y value which is copied to b and if you give here b as 100 and if you pass only one value x and see x value 20 y value some 30 which is not used in our program so 20 will be copied to a and here we are not passing x value so it the second argument will be considered as 100 right a plus b 20 plus 100 so that means it will follow the positional order 
to copy the values as well as if there is no value sent from the function call the automatically the default default value will be taken as a consideration in the function definition right so hope you understood the three categories that means a function without arguments function with arguments and function with the default values right so let us stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much